We're we'll turning to our top story. Israel has launched its first airstrike on central Beirut after nearly a year of conflict. Emergency crews were called to the scene after the strike on a multi-storey residential apartment. It's the latest in a series of bombardments by the IDF on Lebanon. The attack has hindered Hezbollah's command structure and, of course, follows the death of its leader, Hassan Nasrallah. Joining me now is Armin Seichel, who's Emeritus Professor of Middle East and Central Asian and Islamic Studies at the ANU. Thank you for your time. The, the killing of the Hezbollah leader and indeed quite a lot of senior leadership, um, obviously there, there are regular killings, if you like, overall when it comes to Hezbollah leadership. But is this a next, a next sort of step up? Is this really going to weaken Hezbollah, do you think? Well, it is a major blow to uh, Hezbollah, but of course it hasn't really crippled its uh, uh, capacity uh, to uh, still launch uh, missiles and drones uh, into I Israel. Um, I think the Israelis now set to uh, go for land uh, uh, invasion, uh, and it may uh, really take the same pattern of operations as Israel has uh, followed in Gaza, uh, air bombardment first, and then the land invasion right uh, at least up to Latani River, which is about 29 kilometers north of Israeli border, to clear out Hezbollah fighters and uh, really break down whatever uh, capability Hezbollah has uh, in southern Lebanon. Uh, the last time there was a ground invasion by Israel into Lebanon against Hezbollah was back in 2006. That actually ended up being fought to a standstill after a bit more than a month. Has the the air invasion, though, the airstrikes, has that created a very different atmosphere this time around and, and Iran's support appears to possibly be less than Hezbollah was hoping? Well, Israel also carried out extensive uh, air bombardment in 2006, but of course it uh, really got trapped in the land invasion uh, simply because Hezbollah was able to respond very effectively. And I think uh, uh, it, it, this time Hezbollah also would like to really uh, see Israel drawn into a ground uh, fighting uh, because that's where the strength of Hezbollah really lies uh, in order to be able to inflict heavy casualties on Israel as it uh, really done in the past. I think the Iranian reaction to so far is that uh, Hezbollah is capable of defending itself, but at the same time, I think uh, uh, Tehran is weighing its uh, different options mm. because it does not want to really lose Hezbollah because it is an important element in the national and regional security system that uh, Iran has built. Yes, and at the same time, it's wary. It wants sanctions lifted. It's in a precarious um, situation in terms of its economy. D do you think there's a chance that Hezbollah begins to lose its, its grip on power? It's, of course, stopped any sort of parliamentary votes going in the past couple of years. Is there a danger that its power, it loses power in, uh, in Lebanon? Well, Hezbollah does have a lot of opposition in Lebanon, and uh, it is uh, been mainly supported by the Shia segment of the population, which is very substantial. Uh, but uh, there are uh, Sunnis and Christian and Druze elements who do not necessarily go along with uh, Hezbollah on every mm. uh, policy direction that is implemented. And uh, th therefore, I think there is a considerable amount of opposition from within. But at the same time, if the Israel the um, bombardment uh, causes more uh, casualties in Lebanon and destruction in Lebanon, then I think you would find that many Lebanese may well uh, line up behind Hezbollah and therefore okay. uh, be in a position uh, or enable Hezbollah to be more effective than uh, Israel may have expected. I guess it depends on the nature of it and how, and how that plays out, but given the yeah, the difficult field of combat, that could well be the case. Just finally, we've seen a Hezbollah flags at Australian protests. This is a prescribed terror group. Is it a concern that the support has emerged that blatantly on Australian streets? Well, yes. I mean, uh, Hezbollah is uh, designated as a terrorist organisation by Israel and many of its international supporters, including uh, uh, Australia. Uh, but I would be very surprised that uh, uh, Hezbollah would like to really move against uh, other uh, sources. Than, uh, it, it has its hands full at the moment uh, in fighting uh, Israel. 
Amin Saifal, appreciate your time today. Thank you. My pleasure.